Spiritually yours back with another reading. This reading is for my Aries gang gang. Glad to have you. Hope you're having a good day so far. Um, welcome, welcome, welcome. And I am going to get the reading started to my angels, my gods, my ascended masters, the divine, the universe, the higher power. Archangel Michael, Raphael, Jophiel, Gabriel, Uriel, Metatron, Azrael, and to my ancestors that love and care for me and want the best for me. Please and thank you for the clear, precise, accurate messages of what I need to deliver to my Aries gang gang at this time. I'm going to pick three cards from here and then I'm going to see what's playing on YouTube and we're going to get this started. Let's get it. So we already have three cards out. That was quick. Uh, we have true, true love. Okay, Aries. And then we have a liar. Oh, God. Okay, um, <laughs> let's get this started. Uh, oh, let me shuffle first a couple times. Let's see what's playing. Just for the Two of Pentacles. All right, let me see what's playing for you. And I erupt like a volcano, it covers up with your love. Baby girl, you make me say, ooh. Um, it's Sexy Love by Neo. Somebody else had that song. But um, somebody thinks you're sexy and it could be this true love here. Uh, that's too many, but we have the Seven of Pentacles here. Could be someone you planted seeds with. Um, six of cups. So it's not a past person. This is a new person that might want to plant seeds with you. Nine of cups. Um, you might be coming out of like a healing stage here. Um, could be from um heartbreak from a liar in the past. Um, so let's see. Three of Wands. Yeah, you've been just focusing on yourself. And I feel like you have a new person coming in. The Hermit tried to flip. We have the Ace of Pentacles here. You might just be focusing on new opportunities coming towards you. That you worked hard to bring in. Um, so it could be a business um, that you're building from the ground up. Because you see there's roots here in his hands. His nails are dirty. So it looks like um, they just pick that out of the ground it's a new opportunity i just said from healing stage um we have the three of swords yeah i feel like um you're not focusing on love at this time you're trying to manage your household um but you have someone that might be coming in with an apology that hurt you with that three, it's next to the three of swords, but you damn sure are in your energy. So you still, you might be down and out right now, but um, you're still kind of, you still fine as hell, I heard. And um, you're still, um, still trying to be positive about the situation. Still trying to move forward with um, optimism and just, um, Trying to stay on the up and up, though you though you feel down. We have three three here, and then we have the King of Cups. Um, this could be the person coming in with an apology, apology coming towards a Queen of Wands, which is your energy from a King of Cups. That's Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or the King of Cups is the new person coming in. Um, <clears throat> no, nah, this is somebody you cut the hell off. Queen of Swords here. Um, Five of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like this is a manipulator here. Emotional one. Maybe a narcissist. A love bomber. Um, I feel like he's very cunning too. But the way he's swirling his hand in that bowl, I just feel like manipulative. A liar. A lion. Ass person. <laughs> we have the Hierophant. Um, I feel like you had a knowing that something was off with this person. Um, but 
but I just feel like maybe you ignored the red flags and now you're like sitting in regret about you didn't follow your intuition you should have went with your gut instinct um but you're coming into your empress energy um from this situation so this heartbreak could have pushed you on um a journey to become a better person um to stand on your own knight of cups hmm, who's this knight of cups somebody uh -uh. you put burdens down from this person that's that um king of cups energy they're coming in i said they were coming in with an apology they might come with roses they might bring a whole horse for your ass <laughs> and bring you to have a picnic with a letter and there's like fruits there they might have black and white vans or, or chuck chuck taylors um but tattoos a lot of tattoos this person is very attractive um that could be how they got your ass but yeah you put them burdens down and you're like you don't want to be bothered with that um you already see through this person i heard yeah they coming back in with some shenanigans or you feel they are a six of swords energy to lead you feel like this person's gonna lead you in the wrong direction like this person is just coming in to play with your energy king of pentacles hold on now damn it that's daddy right there who's this king of pentacles somebody watching your ass i just who i just heard who's that peeking through my window pal nobody now i forgot who sang that song but this person's watching you it could be a neighbor um somebody around you hold on now i felt like a little creep vibe from that let me see we have the three of cups here oh, okay this person has good intentions they want to come in and celebrate with you guys i say good intentions the sun flew out yeah this is somebody new this is a new person two of pentacles but you're juggling the idea of even dating or being involved with anyone because of this past situation and you just trying to focus on you and your finances can i have something page of pentacles here yeah you're trying to get your finances in order you're juggling a lot financially like your household you could um be a single parent and you're just trying to focus on taking care of your children and you don't want to be back in this energy so it's like you're kind of closed off to new people at this time but you need to open your ass right back up because we got the ten of cups here yeah this king of pentacles is your ten of cups and sun and that's a capricorn taurus virgo temperance just be patient with yourself because like i said you're coming out of a healing stage so just take baby steps with dating um I just heard this person is not gonna want to though this person i feel like this person is gonna try to rush things because they're really excited about you like what is this magician <sighs> they could look at you as somebody that's well they see you as the empress because they see you can manifest some shit you put your mind to it they feel like you and them putting your minds together can make some shit happen here um, they see you in, as an angelic person, um, or they are. Don't judge a book by its cover, I heard, because this person is might look a little scruffy and roughed up and maybe a little dirty. They might do construction, because I'm looking at the boots. Yeah, but this person is angelic like you. This is like an earth angel. They don't want you to judge this person by their cover. They're hard workers, so they probably are dirty sometimes. Like I said, they could do construction, and you probably like, who? Don't bring your dirt first of all. <laughs> I'm not even open to love right now. Here you come looking like this. Don't judge this person. This person is able to manifest some things. This person <clears throat> is a king of pentacles. They're stable mentally, physically, financially. Um, they could have a, a a husky 
um dog there's a husky in here they could be a little bit older than you i heard or just a little bit wiser um because you know um aries energies we're the babies i'm an aries we're the babies of the zodiac sign so we're a little bit immature sometimes or just childlike and i feel like this person is a little bit more like i say settled down in life you know aries um we're very eccentric exciting life of the party so and i feel like this person is a little bit more laid back so don't judge this person and walk away from them don't you dare <clears throat> come on aries now we don't walk away from shit we go head on that's why we're rams so um <clears throat> I think it's because you've been alone for a little bit working on yourself. It hasn't been long. Um, you're just trying to keep to yourself. You're just trying to focus on you. But they want you to focus on love too. Yeah, because you need to bring some excitement back. I feel like this past situation took that out of you a little bit. Like it kind of broke you down a couple notches. And your ancestors want you to get back out here and have some fun. It's not just about working. Um, they're trying to bring some light into your life. And this person is going to do that. Yeah, they want that will to turn for you. Like, they want you to feel like, open yourself up to some things. You see how she's kind of like free and taking a chance of balancing herself on the wheel with one leg. That's what I said. We, we don't run away from stuff. We go head on towards challenges. So... Um, they want you to get back into that energy. I mean, you still are in the Queen of Wands energy, which is excellent. Um, but they want you to open yourself back up to people giving to you. You probably shut yourself off like, I can do this myself. I'm independent. But they want you to be open to others being there to help you. Open to receiving. Um, yeah. Yeah and open to the messages they're trying to bring in towards you. I just feel like you're closed off at this time because of this past person and this past situation. Um, yeah, close yourself off. You're closed off. Look at how she has all the energy around her protecting her and then there's a wheel around her. It's like, uh-uh. You, you're trying to elevate yourself at this time you're working like i said on make, becoming a better person so you see the energy shooting from her but they you're closed off to love and they want you to open yourself up to that i told you this person's going to want to rush things with you the chariot energy the fastest damn card in the deck it could be a cancer um yep as i say cancer queen of cups this person is loving they're caring they're intuitive this person knows who you are like i said they know you're the empress um but i don't know if you see yourself as that you're the hierophant empress energy and queen of wands i mean you a bad a bad mama jamma if i'm speaking to a man you a bad mother sucker and it's like put those burdens down look how far down you came it's like, don't give up now. Don't close yourself off now. You climb down a, a mountain to get where you are. I heard moving mountains. So I feel like this person is willing to fight for you. You might want to give up on this, and this person is not going to. They're going to be like, look, baby, I understand. You've been hurt, but I am not that person. Queen of Pentacles. There you go. You're going to open yourself up and be aligned with this person. We have the king and queen of pentacles out here. We have the king and queen of cups too, but that king of cups is your past person. The liar that you cut the hell off that want to apologize because I feel like karma smacking their ass. So now they want to come in or they see who you are now. So they want to come in and apologize. No. We don't want your funky ass apology because you still lying because liar is out here. <laughs> so it's just because karma is whooping they ass and they see who you are now. They want to come with a fake apology. Um, we have the fool card, Aries energy. Yeah, you're going to take a leap of faith towards this person. Um, let's see. I feel like the Ten of Pentacles is going to come out. Uh, hold on. This is cutting off. After being hurt. 
um, you're still going to take a leap of faith. Uh, I feel like you're not going to be crying over spilled milk. You're going to eventually realize, okay, yeah, this went down the drain with this past person. But I still have four cups standing back here. I just got to turn the hell around and look at them. And then you'll be back into love and life again. Like I said... You'll be ha you'll you're happy in your own energy. You'll be there soon because I feel like you're just coming out of the healing stage. So you'll be back into um, being a life of the party, having fun by your damn self, loving you, um, and letting go of this. We got five five here. Letting go of the the stress, the worries, the doubts, the fears. Mostly fears is what I'm feeling. Yeah, you're you're you have you have to get back into um being passionate about life again. The Ace of Wands is in reverse. Um, I feel like your confidence took a hit with this person. Moon in reverse, Cancer energy again. Um, I feel like this person's coming to you with um pure intentions. There's nothing hidden here. This person is not going to let you fall flat on your face after investing with them. This person is going to be there for you. Yeah, you're afraid this person might run away. But like I said, even if you try to push this person away, they're going to be like, uh-uh, no, I'm not having that shit. I'm not going nowhere. <laughs> Get yourself together because I'm not going nowhere. We have the Page of Wands. Yeah, this person's going to get you back um, excited about things. Yeah, the strength card, Leo energy. Yeah, you about to be back on your shit again. Yep, as I say, back on your shit, the eight of pentacles. You're going to come back stronger too. Because I feel like you're evolving spiritually because of this. This could have been a twin flame. This king of cups. Or karmic and you learn some lessons from this situation. The Knight of Swords in reverse. Yeah, this person is not going nowhere. Yeah. Yeah, they're going to wait on you. Yeah, they understand you've been hurt. King of Wands energy here. This person is fine too. I said that. This person was handsome. Hold on, I said that about the King of Cups. So be careful that King of Cups is coming back in. Yeah, the King of Cups, the past person is coming back. Yep, here we go with options. You're going to have options. One of those options has it. One of the cups has a snake under it. That's that damn King of Cups energy. So just be careful. That's like a past player here. That King of Wands that I saw could have been an option. Yeah, these options are going to cause a tower. But they're saying, use your intuition. They're sending you the messages about a third party. The past person is coming in. Once you get going with this new person, this past person is rushing in. Because they're going to feel you energetically energetically pulling yourself away um and they're gonna see how you've changed and it's gonna be attractive to this person the lovers yeah <clears throat> the ace of cups here um yeah you have choices here to have a new beginning in love you have lovers coming towards you but you just have to choose who's best for you Justice, yep. Emperor, this emperor is a different energy. You got a king of pentacles and an emperor here, and that past person. Do not misjudge any of these people, see them for who they truly are, not for what you want them to be. And that's how you'll make the right choice and leave the right person hanging. People, because there's multiple people here. King of Swords at the bottom. Yeah, you're gonna have to cut people off. You're very you're becoming well, you already ready work very attractive, but now your energy is very attractive. So you have um people coming in now. Um 
There's an Emperor, a King of Pentacles, and the King of Cups. Um, let me find out more about these people because I feel like you're going to choose that King of Pentacles, but let's see here. Who's this? Can I have more on this King of Cups? Who's this King of Cups? What the hell do they want? See, Two of Cups in reverse. That's that past lying ass motherfucker coming back again. For what? You're still a liar. You still don't want commitment with my Aries. Like, why are you coming back? I don't understand. Seven of Swords. They're going to act like they're not coming in, being manipulative or doing something, um, coming towards you for their own benefits, but they are. They are. They're going to act like they're not. But that's why they're coming back in. They want your attention and your forgiveness because they got karma right on their heel. More about the King of Cups. I don't like people that play games, especially when someone has healed and moved on. Just go to hell on with your raggedy ass life and leave people alone. For a sword. Yeah, minding your own business. Peaceful. Getting ready to come into wish fulfillment here. We got 4-4 four, four here. And here this person comes. They might feel like your wish fulfillment. This person has like clouded judgment here. Like something is wrong with this person. The page of pentacles. Um, it's in reverse. Hold on. They're not coming with no stable offer here. And there's still a third party here. Or this person wants to be a third party because they can know you have someone. If you're with someone or they know someone's coming in. The Ace of Pentacles, as I say, that they know something's coming in for you. They can feel it. The Eight of Cups, so they cooking up some shit. How she's mixing the potions to come in and stir up some. Just to have you confused. Yep, as I say, have you confused the Queen of Wands. They see who you are now. You're in your power. So, um, I feel like them coming in still with ill intentions, they're going to just incur more karmic debt because your dragon wants all the smoke. Like, you're heavily protected here. So, I don't know what this person is trying to do. More on this Negro. Break your heart as I say that. Look at that. I don't know what this person is going to do. And then the Three of Swords comes out. They're coming in to break your heart again. Like, I don't understand what is... I don't understand people. Let I'm done with him. Let's move to the King of Pent Pentacles here. That don't make no sense. Nine of Wands. Like I said, you're going to be guarded with this person and... They don't want you to be like that with this King of Pentacles. But he's going to understand. So, um, more on the King of Pentacles. Yep, they're coming in. We got 9-9 nine, nine here. The King of Cups, we had 4-4. Four, four. The King of Pentacles, we have 9-9. Nine, nine. Um, yeah, this person's coming in at a time when you're coming out of your healing stage. You're still kind of hurt as I say that. The Ten of Swords. Yeah, this person's coming in at a time. They know you're hurt and they're going to understand and work with you. Will of Fortune and help you turn the wheel. Temperance at the bottom. Yeah, we got the sun for him again. Wow. It's going to be illuminated to you that this is your person. He's coming in in the midst of things of you being heartbroken and competition here. So like I said, you're going to have to look closely at people, at your options, and not judge them for how they look, but like look deeper. Page of Wands this in reverse. This person is not coming to you just looking at you as a sexual object. Like you're very fine. Yes. Beautiful. Yes. But that this person is looking deeper than that. Um, the how the hell the King of Pentacles can clarify with the King of Pentacles? This person is the bomb here. 
<clears throat> this is like I said he was an earth angel. This person is like royalty. Royalty, royalty, royalty. Even though it's loyalty. <laughs> I heard royalty real. He royalty. Oh my god, this person could have been like a king in a past life. Oh my goodness. More on the King of Pentacles. Wow. This, I heard he has an army behind him. So if this King of Cups think he's about to be competing with this King of Pentacles, he can't. There's no comparison here. As I said, an army behind him, the strength card. Wow. This person is no joke. They are nothing to play with. Six of Wands. Hold on, we got two cards here. Six of Wands. Yeah, this person is... This person, I heard, ran an em, uh, empire. Oh, my God. This I heard drug lord. This person could be a drug dealer. <laughs> oh, my God, Aries. Why did I hear drug lord? Like, a, this person could be a drug dealer. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's why he's the king of pentacles. He has a lot of money and an army. He could have people working under him. Oh, my goodness. The magician in reverse. Hold on. Let me see what that is. I feel like there's no illusions here. Queen of pentacles in reverse. I feel like you're not going to have to work. Like, if you were to marry this person, you're not going to have to work. This person has money. More money. Can I have something on the Queen of Pentacles in reverse? The Fool. This person will invest in you. And I'm not saying it like your property or nothing, but this person is going to put in the work. You just got to take that leap of faith towards this person and make a choice with the chariot cancer energy again. We had the chariot over here. And I said he's going to move fast with you. Yep. Look at the four of pentacles on the bottom. You're not going to have to do nothing. This person is going to work and take care of you. This person has money and they're not going to look like it when you see them. Nine of Cups here. And you're so busy focusing on you and being an empress. This person, I said they see you. They see your value. They know who you are to them. Wow. Let me clarify this emperor here. I feel like he's a good person too. Um, Could be a fellow Aries. <clears throat> but the justice card came next to him. So let's see what we get here. This could be some stiff competition here between these two. Something on the emperor here. The eight of cups in reverse. Yeah, this might be somebody that um you've been with in the past and you still stay connected to this person because the eight of cups is in reverse. So you you haven't walked away from this person. This could be a past person too. The temperance, yeah. Um, you've you could have like a friendship with this person. You might have been with them, and then now you're just friends. Um, the hangman, yeah. I feel like, yeah. Hold on, let me clarify this before I run my mouth. The Knight of Cups. This is an in and out energy. Yeah, you have history with this person. The death card. This person wants to end that in and out energy. Yeah, they the eight of swords at the bottom. You might have felt stuck with this person because there's a soul tie here. You and this person are still connected. But the ace of cups flew out in reverse. Ten of wands. This person could be a burden with the in and out energy. King of Swords, yeah. You might cut this person off. We got Justice again, and Justice was next to him here. Hold on. More on the Emperor. Yeah, this person might have options. And I feel like that's where that Knight of Cups energy, they're in and out. 
They don't want to be in that energy anymore, but I don't know. The Ace of Swords in reverse. This person doesn't give you much clarity either on what they want. The Ace of Wands. We got two Aces here for him. You could have a new beginning with this person, but I don't think you want it. Hold on. More on the Emperor. I don't even see what the hell he's... What is he offering here? Two of Pentacles, yeah, in reverse. This person is not going to juggle you. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> They're done with the in and out energy. Three of Wands. Hold on. This is like a... He's a free spirit. Like, he doesn't like to be tied down. That's where that in and out energy is coming from. This person is very independent. Um, more on the emperor, the world. This person might travel a lot. That's why they don't like to be tied down and they're in and out. <clears throat> I heard truck driver, six of pentacles. Yeah, they're not able to give much because they're not around. And this person has a lot of options with the five of swords. There's three women here and we got the options card. But the Ten of Cups is on the bottom. More on the Emperor. Hold on, this person wants the Ten of Cups with you. You feel stuck. It's between this Emperor and King of Pentacles. Yup, the lovers. You don't know who to choose here. The damn emperor on the bottom. The emperor clarifying the emperor. I told you, this is stiff competition here. I don't know, Aries. I don't know who you're going to choose here. The devil came out. Yeah, you have a, a, a soul tie with this person. There's going to be a lot of gossip around this person. Because they got a lot of... This person has a lot of options. That's five more women here. We got the five of pentacles and the five of wands. There's a lot going on around this person. I feel like a lot of people want this, this emperor. And I don't think you want to be bothered with that. That's where the, the um death card is coming in at. Because I don't think you... This person is... This shit going to be stressful. There's a lot of women with this person. More on the emperor. There's gossip and rumors about this person. Oh my God, her big D energy. This person is a boss. The high priestess here in reverse. You don't know what to do with this. Look at the bottom. I told you this is a. This is going to be a burden. This person has too many options. Let me get. Let me get some cards on who you should choose. Can I have advice on this King of Cups? I don't like him. The Ten of Swords in reverse. Now he don't want to break your heart. What is this other one? Four of Swords in reverse. This person is not getting no sleep. This person just think about you, 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 you. What you doing, who you with, how you doing it. What you invested in, 3333 three, three, three was on a timer. Yeah, now they don't want to juggle you. This person's still a liar, though. You don't want to take a leap of faith towards this person. The fool is in reverse. It's a wrap for him. Advice on the King of Pentacles. The strength card. In, oh, the strength card. I was going to say in reverse. This person is strong. They got the strength card twice. This person is nothing to play with. Yeah, you're not going to be carrying burdens with this person. One more card for the King of Pentacles. Oh, they gave me goddamn three. The Knight of Cups in reverse. The Ace of Cups in reverse. And the Ace of Wands in reverse. The fuck? Oh my god, the Ace of Cups. That's like no new beginning and love, no passion, no whining and dining. <clears throat> I don't know about that one. 
The devil's in reverse. This person, hold on. Let me see. Let me compare the emperor, please. Advice on the emperor. The death card. That's the death card twice for him. Four of wands. Ah, he might be non-committal. The moon. But he's going to be transparent with you. He's not going to hide things from you. So if there's other bitches or other guys, <laughs> you going to know. Aries, you, this, is, this is probably an Aries. This person is going to be blunt with you. Like, look, I got females that I, I got a past. A lot of hoes is in the past. <laughs> it's a lot of females or males here. Um, but I want to be with you. They're going to keep it real with you. I don't know. King of Pentacles, that kind of scared me. Let me go back to him. King of Pentacles, please. The sun came out again. That's three times. The devil. This person, I just feel like this person is, yeah, the hierophant. Because they know who you are. This person is obsessed with being with you. Because they know who you are to them. So it could get a little toxic. I ain't gonna lie. It could get a lot, a little toxic here. Because there's an obsession. Oh my God. Let me get my, my what's the tea cards here and see. Uh, what, what's, what should this Aries do? We got some stiff competition here. First up the bat, we got the King of Pentacles. Next, we have the Emperor. Use discernment. Remember I said about looking past what you want to see in a person and looking at them for who they really are? Somebody here is non-committal. Use discernment. Let me see what else we get. Or it could be you. You don't want to commit to anybody at this time. Despair. Oh, boy. I did say um, the emperor travels a lot. So I feel like that's for him. Um, let's see what else we get here. Ooh, Aries, this was juicy. You got three options here. Two, that's actually worth something. Let's see what else we get. Aries gang always got fans, though. This is not all shit. Use discernment because you might be in despair walking away from the wrong person. I just saw non-committal peeking out again. Um, Divine Feminine. King of Pentacles. Right on. Cha-ching. He knows who you are to him. You should choose the King of Pentacles. Just my advice. And what the cards are saying. Yes, he has money, A. That's black magic. That's not, yeah. I was going to say, nah, there's no black magic. That's false. There's no magic here. Single. Yeah. All the single ladies. All the single ladies. All the single ladies. Now put your hands up. Uh, in the club. Yeah. Happiness. I feel like, yes, the king of pentacles is your happiness. Let's see what else we get here. Uh... We have no here, and behind it was no bad intentions. I feel like that's the King of Pentacles and Emperor energy. They don't have any bad intentions for you. I just feel like you're going to be, it's going to, the um the Emperor, you're going to have a little bit of worries with him because he travels a lot, and then you're going to have to worry about other females or males. It could be. It's just energy. The king, the emperor could be a woman. Um, it's just going to be a lot of worry here. Yeah, the will is turning on something being non-committal. I feel like that's you, Aries. Ooh, bad karma. Who is this for? Hold on. I think that's that king of cups. As I say that, yes, it's the king of cups. Something's about to be taken from this person. Options. This person's not going to have no options. Like I said, they're just thinking about you. And it's because they got karma on their heels. I said that. 
Thank you, ancestors. What else do I need to tell my Aries gang gangy? Uh, yes, it's karma on the ass. Oh no, look at this. Peep it. I don't want to. Want you to think I moved anything? Yes, King of Pentacles. Yep. Yep. But I'm just gonna take the yes and the King of Pentacles. It's healthy. It's a hell. It's gonna be a healthy relationship. It's a healthy love. I just feel like it. It's just a obsession here. So you might have to just be a little careful with that good karma. Yeah. This person has good karma. This King of Pentacles abundance. I told you this person has money. Look at this Aries gang gang. We got death spells here. I just feel like that's for endings. Yep, an ending to um being with non-committal people because this person is gonna commit. So it's not no love. Oh, this is the obsession that I was talking about with the uh, King of Pentacles. Look. Because they see you. They see right through you and who you are. And they're your divine man. I'm done. I am going. Let me just be a little bit more nosy. <laughs> Moon could be a cancer. But um, you're going to kind of feel like it's something up with these two energies. And it's not. You'll get the clarity. Black magic. No, there's no black magic here. You'll get the clarity. Someone could be a Capricorn. It could be that King of Pentacles energy. They could have um, Capricorn in their... Look at this. I love you. Gemini. Someone could have Gemini in their chart. Temperance. Be um, patient with yourself. But they see you as an earth angel. And they are too. So it's either... You both are, or you are, or the person, or the King of Pentacles is. I said it's going to be a little bit toxic. Just a tad bit, just because of the, how much this person is going to love you. So, we have the High Priestess here. Um, You might just have to knock his ass down, or her ass down a couple notches when you see that uh, um, obsession part start coming to the surface, travel. I feel like that's for the emperor. Even though he travels a lot, he's not going to be around too much. This person is going to be committed to you. So you just have to pick who's best for you. I feel like they're both good. Um, they'll both be good partners. It's just one has kind of a past that's like you might not want to deal with it. I just saw the death card. They might put an ending to their travel to be with you more. Oh, they said false. Now nah, this person's going to be working their ass off still. <laughs> but he's stable. So you got two stable people here financially. It's just what you're going to want to be dealing with. Yeah. House. I feel like this jealous part is the um, King of Pentacles. The Ten of Cups here. I'm going to pick two more and I'm going to let you go, Aries Gang Gang. Yeah house happiness healthy three h's here i love it a tower maybe hold on what the hell is this tower what's the tower the ten of cups one of the best damn towers to have with your new beginning <clears throat> i'm gonna end it there aries gang gang i love this you got two options here my grandmother, she used to tell me, date them all until you figure out what you need to do. Um, you don't have to jump right in and be committed to anybody. You can date. You're dating, so um, you're not committed. And you can figure out there who to choose. They're both good choices. It's just who's best for you. And I'm going to end it here. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. Join the spiritually yours family. We keep it real over here. It ain't no sh ain't no damn strawberries, peaches, cream, rainbows, unicorns. I'm gonna keep it real with you because we're here to ascend, elevate, and you can't do that without people being authentic with you. So I'm never gonna lie to you. We're gonna keep it real over here and enjoy the ride while we on it. Till next time, Aries. Later.